Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to troubleshoot an internal error message in NopCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.0. So if you are watching this video, you are probably trying to figure out why are you seeing an internal error page like this on a NopCommerce site. This internal error page is basically a generic message that is displayed on the public site if something is wrong with your website. This error does not mean anything. In order to troubleshoot the issue, you will need to see the full error message to find the root cause of the problem. So let's look into how we can troubleshoot this internal error in AppCommerce. So to do that, if you get this error message, all you have to do is go to the, your root directory on the server if you have your website on the server or if you have your website on the local machine, you can simply just go into the knob.web folder and if you are on your hosting server, you simply just go in the root directory and you will see a file called app settings. Just open this file and I'm in this case, I'm opening this file in Visual Studio and within this file in the code, you will see there is a setting called display full error stack and by default is set to false. So in this case, in order to troubleshoot the error, what we will do is we will simply change it to true and save it. And make sure you restart your website after changing the settings. So I'm just going to run the website again. Okay, so now my website is running. So now I'm going to create this error message purposely. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go in my code and just for demo purpose, I'm creating an error purposely. So in this case, I'm simply just deleting the code and saving it. So let's say there's an issue on my home page. Let's say while updating a web file, I by mistake, I deleted some code. And now I'm trying to view the home page. It's actually throwing an error message. So technically by default, you'll get the internal message in this case. But now that we have the setting set to true in the app setting file, we are going to see a full error message. And here you can see, instead of getting the internal error message, I'm getting a very much detailed message that specifically points me to the right direction that the problem is in this file. And it's telling me that the problem is probably in this section because it's highlighted or red. And that's exactly what the issue is. So now I know that this is the issue and I need to correct it. And once I correct it and I refresh the website and right here, it's working again. And any time when you are trying to troubleshoot an error in OpCommerce, it's always a good practice to check your log system log in the administration section. And you can do that by simply going to your dashboard. Now go to the administration section here. And from here, I will go to system and log. Because remember, this log inside the knob commerce is always capturing the detailed message. And here also you can see it's telling me that the issue was coming from this file, which is the index file, which is actually the home page of your knob commerce site. And I can always click on view and I can see the detail message here. And this is how you can troubleshoot an internal error in knob commerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by knob commerce, open source shopping car. Thank you.